Hey guys, real quick one. I can't be bothered setting up my microphone and stuff like that, but Nick and I just presented at ECU, which is the university here in Perth, and we spoke a little bit about, we got invited to um, speak for Careers Week Fair, which is essentially like a whole week where a bunch of different companies kind of pitch themselves so they can get more people to come work for them. We figured everyone else was just gonna speak about themselves for 90 minutes, so what we did instead was we spent five minutes talking about ourselves, and the rest of the presentation we just talked about well, I talked about how they could get their own paying clients and maybe even become one of our competitors, but the main reason was so that they could build a portfolio of their own work. And Nick spoke about all the stuff that we do for clients to keep them around for a long day, how we, what makes a good ad, what makes a bad ad, dunked on some of our competitors, it was kind of funny. Um, but this clip that I'm gonna show just after this recording is basically me going through the vision, mission, value statement for um, us as a company and the kind of culture that makes us up. And then I'm gonna upload some other clips um, from the rest of the presentation um, on like sales and marketing, how we get clients. And if you wanted to start your own advertising agency or to start freelancing, you can steal that or you can um, you know start with organic strategies, which I outlined as well. But that's enough for me. I'm gonna jump on and hopefully you guys find it useful. Questions one of you want? Yeah, don't bother raising your hands, just shout out. So what we're going to cover the first five minutes, we're just going to talk about what we do and who we are. And then the next hour, we're going to try and give you guys a lot of stuff you can walk away with. So I'm going to show you how you can get your own paying clients. Um, Nick's going to show you how you can keep your clients for longer. And then last five minutes, we're going to talk about how you can join us doing the above if you, if you want to, if that's appealing. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just go from there. Just raise your hand if you have any questions. Don't wait till the end. I also tend to talk really fast. So if I do that, just tell me to shut up. Um, so my name is Brandon, I'm the owner and director. Nick, who's sitting just there, is our senior account manager. We always like saying that businesses just had to do two things. They had to make promises and then they had to keep them. I'm very much the make promises guy, trying to get us more clients. Nick is very much the, here, I got these guys and convinced them, you know, keep the promise. Um, so Nick um, handles all of our clients and between all of them, it's probably like managing about a million dollars in ad spend every 12 months. Um, and so you don't manage a million dollars in ad spend for your clients without knowing what it does. So. Um, a lot of the stuff he shares is going to be very, very useful. Um, when it comes to business, there's basically a vision, mission, value. So vision is what do we want to be as a group? Like what's our ultimate goal that we want to be as a collective? Mission is what are we going to do to get us get ourselves there and what are we going to do for other people? So that's the unselfish perspective. And then there's, there's values as well, which is like, okay, on our journey there, like what are all the decision-making frameworks that we all need to collectively have as a group, that's how we hire, it's how we fire, and it's how we make any decisions, it's how we introduce new products and services and things like that. So our vision is to become the world's leading authority in turning clicks into customers. Our mission is to help businesses grow by finding and converting more customers online. If we can't do that, we don't sell them our stuff. We've got three core values. We actually just revised this for the first time in two years and kind of finalized it on Monday. So our top value and always has been there and always will be there is transparency. Um, we're in a world where no one trusts advertisers. Um, and business owners also don't trust ad agencies. Um, so transparency is at the top of our thing. Um, there's, I don't need to go on a whole tangent about it, but there's plenty of ad agencies over there that will pull the wall over their client size by using a bunch of fancy buzzwords and jargon and acronyms to make themselves sound more valuable than they actually are. Um, we, we tell them the bad news first. <coughs> because sometimes there's um, bad news, but usually it's good news. Better faster is uh, go, to, go out of your way to learn, evolve and improve faster for us and for clients. Um, <laughs> the original iteration of this, which I talked myself out of, was evolve or die. And it was essentially, <laughs> thought it was a little bit grim. And essentially, the market isn't immune to natural selection, so the ones that don't keep up die off. Doesn't matter if you're um, the biggest company in the world, you know, plenty of companies have died off because they didn't evolve and get better. And so we want to get better as fast as we can and stay ahead of the curve. And then just do the work and keep it fun. So get the results on time, but it doesn't need to be so corporate. Um, I didn't start this company because I wanted to work in a boring corporate environment. I wanted to have fun with my friends and make Facebook ads. And so, so that's because I enjoyed it. And so that's kind of what we're carrying. Um, so transparency, I thought this was just an interesting testimonial we got. We, um, we got a testimonial from someone that said it was the most honest sales pitch I've ever had. Brandon told me straight up that it wouldn't be worth me using their services yet. It was completely transparent and helpful and has put me in contact with someone who can help me. Um, that testimonial was right under the video on our funnel that tries to convince them to book a sales call with me and we found it's helped a lot. <laughs> I didn't know what to put here, so we just put Peggy, who's Nick's dog. <laughs> um, when I was doing my homework this morning and put this here, Nick said, oh, that kind of makes sense because she just runs around the office, so at least it's faster and, you know, better. <laughs> and do the work but keep it fun, so that's a life-size cut out of Doja Cat that I have on Zoom calls with me. Um, and I figured if a client doesn't like Doja Cat, I don't want them as a client. <laughs> um, and that's <laughs> the rate. One of our uh, clients is, uh, is right now is giving away a $20,000 uh, race, racing like drift simulator. Um, so Joseph brought in his. 
which isn't $20,000, this is on the PlayStation. <laughs> so we set that up and we just called it research. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, I also wanted to put, um, they put our logo on like one of their competitive drift cars. Um, I wanted to put that photo here, but their car crashed. <laughs> they didn't get a photo, so that's all right. 